Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a full case break of the brand new, just came out yesterday, 2019 Panini Donruss Optic Baseball 12 box pick your team number three from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to everyone who picked up their team straight up. Now we do have to do a team random, so you saw that each spot guarantees you a team, but a random team. We're just going to randomize your names. We're going to keep these teams in order. Now, some teams are obviously going to be more than the cost of the spot, right? You know, some teams will be about the cost of the spot, and some teams will be lower than the cost of the spot, and that's kind of how they're ordered out. And thank you to these people right here. Guaranteed a team on this one as well. So let's roll the dice. Let's randomize that list three and a four seven times. Good luck. One, two. Three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. And after seven times, there you go. Mark Matheson down to Brett Myers. All right, so congrats to Mark. You have the Astros. I think that's like a $100 team, isn't it? There you go. Jeremy33 with the Braves. We'll put that little symbol there so you know that it's from this team. Ran Chris Parent with the Halos. David Duffy with my Dodgers. I think these are about $50, $50, $60 teams. Trevor T with the White Sox. Charles with the Cubs. Chad, you got the O's. Matthew with the Indians. Jeremy, 33, with the Phillies. No, we haven't been randomizing the teams. We usually don't in these team randoms. With the Phillies, Jared with the Giants. Mark Matheson, you have the Nationals. And the Royals. Stephen Olsen with the Pirates. Arturo with the Tigers. And Brett with the Diamondbacks. Sorry, Steve. It says in the item description... And I also mentioned it as well. This shouldn't be a surprise. And all the other previous randoms we've been doing have all been th that way as well. All right. Uh, Diamondbacks for Royals. Big Rigs and Royals guy. Mark says no thanks. Or no, Diamondbacks... Is Brett My Oh yeah, Brett Myers, Diamondbacks Royals. Mark says no thanks. I don't know. Where's my? Here, I'll drop a checklist for everybody too. I had that copied and pasted into this list right here. No, Joey Bart is not in this. He could have been like a rated prospect or something like that, but no, unfortunately not. Checklist is in the chat. Chad B. Orioles Royals Yeah, if you're in a, if you're in this team random, you can offer up some trades if you'd like. I don't remember how much the Orioles or Royals how much they cost. We'll give it a few moments here. There's the fresh case right there, just waiting to reveal the monster hits. Let's stretch out the hands a little bit here. All right, and Chad will stay, okay. Well, let's close up that trade window. Unless 
Giants for Pirates? If that moves the needle for you, Steve. Otherwise, we'll close up the trade window and we'll go. Steve says no. All right. Trade window closed. Let's print. Let's rip. go hot off the presses is the official list on Thursday the 18th 12 box pick your team three good luck ladies and gentlemen <laughs> Jay saying Kevin Newman is going to be a 3,000 3,000 hit club guy perennial all-star hall of famer his rookie year let's not let's just enjoy his rookie season before we start thinking about 3,000 hits three thousand hits is tough a lot of great players without three thousand hits that's a, that's a combination of of like longevity can you give and, and then just like high-end productivity for that long amount of time. Man. Now I gotta, I gotta think about this. If you had like a like a 15-year career, you'd have to average 200 hits a year. It's a lot of hits. So uh, realistically, you got to expect him to have a 20-year career and average 150 hits a year. All right, Brett. I'll see you, man. <laughs> Watch, it's nothing but Diamondbacks hits after he leaves. Yes, let's get uh, let's get that football mixer done. So we'll be done with this in about an hour. So we should be ready for the next break around seven fifteen LA time. And once we're done with uh, once we're, once we're done with this, we'll go through some orders, and we'll see who wants to win some break credit tonight. start off with guys remember Kevin Mitchell Kevin Mitchell autograph and some Oppo Joe Mojo remember uh, there'll also be an autograph recap video uh, or uh, there'll be an autograph recap at the very end of this uh, video so you can fast forward to that if you want to that goes to the Giants and that will be for Jared didn't Jared didn't Jay have the Giants up for trade Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. There's JD Martinez. That's a We the People parallel, which is fun. Very patriotic. Out of 76, of course. That's out of 150. Cedric Mullins to 60. 
rated rookie red parallel. I do, Mark. Let me bring that up. I thought I had it copied and pasted here. All right, see ya. Thank you. Our direct TV guy got everything set up. We got out of 25, David Bodie. There's Kristen Stewart. Someone said that Kristen Stewart hit a dinger today out of 199. Yeah, the backward cars that aren't signed, definitely a huge troll move because it gets me all excited. And I'm like, oh, oh. There's Brian Anderson out of 125 for the Miami Marlins. There's Miguel Sano, pink velocity to 199. There's Michael Perez for the Rays to 150. Luis Urias to 75. Kyle Freeland for the Rockies to 199. There's Williams Astudio, 50 out of 75. See? I mean, I guess I could read the bottom and I'll say this autograph is blah, 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 blah. Kevin Newman to 199. Sub Mothro, when am I going to bring the pug? I'm not sure. Probably when the store is complete. Then I have to do a trial run to see how see how he does here at the shop. If he does okay, then he can probably visit more often. There's Robinson Cano to 199. Mitch Hanniger to 199. Jackie Bradley, Jr., to 125. And we have a Dakota Hudson, Pink Velocity, to 199. Jose Urena for the Marlins, to 75. Kyle Tucker, autograph, there we go. Rated rookie autograph for the Strohs, Mark Matson, who won that spot in the team random. There's John Lester to 76, We the People. So that looks very much like a, a prism hot box right there. We'll sleeve and top load all of those before they go out. And there's Jimer Candelario to 150. All right, there you go. Box one in the books. Autosave is having issues. Is everyone else having issues with the stream? Seems like some people are, some people are not. So why are the autograph if the, if that was an autograph? I'm not sure why they're at the the back of the pack. Oh, that says autograph too. Shouldn't they shouldn't they be in the uh, middle of the pack? This might be an autograph hot box. Oh, Twitch isn't working. Hmm. All right, sorry about that. We'll try to get that set up again. Maybe in the maybe some settings got reset. But Mark's saying, if you guys are having issues with the stream, Mark's saying has to bump down the quality a little bit. That might that might help. If the usual sort of refreshing and whatnot doesn't work. Good luck, everyone. Did you see the Kyle Tucker autograph? Maybe you missed it. The second auto of the box was for you, Mark, the Kyle Tucker refractor auto. That's Chase. Like, if I can't see Joe in beautiful 720p, then what's the point? I know. What is the point? There's Cole Tucker for the Pirates to 50. 
There's David Peralta to 125. Uh, see, not an autograph, but a little sparkly sparks in the background. I don't know what that's called. Like what that parallel is called. I should learn all the parallels. Brandon Crawford out of 199. You're welcome, Mark. Cole Tucker is pretty solid. Willie Calhoun for the Rangers to 199. Tyler O'Neill to 50. It's another parallel hot box too. One out of 150. Brandon Crawford. We've got Sean Newcomb to 99. We've got Ryan Baruki, who I think just got called up or is off the IL or something like that. Blue Jays with that one. That goes to Trevor. Jose Barrios, twins to 150. Chris Shaw to 150. Joey Gallo to 199. Goldschmidt for the Cardinals to 50. Trevor Story to 99. Jack Flaherty to 75. Dennis Santana for my Dodgers to 199. And we've got Optic Autograph, Stephen Piscotti for the A's. Oakland A's auto for David Duffy. Got the athletics straight up. And that is 54 out of 99. Hosmer to 199. Nomar Mazzara to 125. And is that Joe Adele an autograph? It is. Nice. Rated prospect. Rated a prospect auto for the Angels. Chris Parent with the Angels. They're re rebuilding their farm system. He's definitely the uh, one of the crown jewels of that farm system. If not the crown jewel of the farm system. There's Matt Chapman for the A's to 99. James Paxton for the Yankees to 150. JT Real Muto. To 199. And there is your box, another parallel hot box. Now there should be two parallel hot boxes and then two um, autograph hot boxes. The autograph hot boxes are five autos a box? Yes, five autos. Right. Thursday, so not a lot of games going on on a usually Thursdays or travel days in, in MLB. But the Yankees, first of a doubleheader, beat the Rays six to two. The Royals edged out the White Sox six to five. The Red Sox shut out the Toronto Blue Jays five to nothing, and apparently Chris Sale had twelve strikeouts over six innings. Just giving up only two hits. Wow. What a start. Phillies beat my Dodgers 7 to 6. That was a YouTube game. Did anybody watch that? It was an early YouTube game. Only on YouTube. Which is kind of interesting. And then the Marlins edged out the Padres 4 to 3. Games in progress. The second game of the doubleheader is tied up at the bottom of the fifth. 1-1. One, one. Rays Yankees. In Anaheim, Houston is taking an early 2-0 lead against the Angels in the bottom of the first. In the fourth inning, the A's and the Twins are all tied up at 1. In the fifth inning, the Nationals are up 10-1 on the Braves. I think I was on the Braves today. Cleveland uh, leading the Tigers 5-3. St. Louis in the top of the sixth, up 7-3 seven on the Reds. I guess I was on I was on the Tigers. I think they still have a chance. Yes, I was on the Braves. 
and they're getting pummeled right now. And I'm on the A's too, in case you're wondering. They're they're tied up, so I still have a good shot there. We'll see what happens. Good luck, everybody. Might get a better idea of where I'm at by the end of this break. Mark is reminding us that the football mixer is now down to four. So we can slot that right into that 7 o'clock, 7.15 time slot. It's Rizzo to 1.99. And then we can uh, get that going. And then try to finish off a couple more breaks to unlock that break credit tonight. We got Cedric Mullins for the Orioles. That goes to Chad. I think that was a bit of a tried to trade, couldn't trade mojo. 22 out of 50. A lot more on cards, too. I think the insert autos are often stickers, but everything else seems to be on card, which is excellent. Brand Lau to 125. Cubs are 5 and 6. After the All-Star break, hoping they can keep it up. You want them to keep up a below 500 pace? There's Steven Gonsalves to 35. And Darvish has been looking pretty sharp lately. The talent was always there. You just had to kind of put it, put it all together. Get some mechanics right. Ooh, this is right. Fernando Tatis Jr. What's up, Vince? What's going on? That is for the Padres. That's for Brian Peoples with another Fernando Tatis Jr. It's an exciting brand of baseball, that kid. Oh, 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 you're saying you're saying they've won five out of six. Gotcha. Yeah, Brian, let's keep that Tatis streak going. So they're five and one after the All-Star. Yeah, there you go, Rex. Yeah, that makes more sense. Yes, that's definitely a pace that you will want to try to keep up. Um... What do you think is going to happen in the trade window, ladies and gentlemen? So the trade window, if in case you don't remember, now they had two trade windows for ages, right? There was the there's the uh, non waiver trading deadline at the end of July, right? And then there was a uh, another waiver trading deadline that was at the end of uh, August. And that's the one, obviously, where you have to, where players get put through waivers and then see if they get claimed or not and all that sort of stuff. So what happens is uh, now, instead of those two different windows, they've just put it all in one window. I don't think there is a waiver. I don't think you have to do, do waivers anymore. So anyway, it's all in one window now, which makes it easy. No, we just don't. We just don't have the little. We don't have the lights turned on yet. The lighting guys were here today working on some stuff earlier. I think some of you saw them in the background. We'll get candles in my studio here though once it gets furnished. Maybe get some. Uh, Maybe get a Yankee candle. I'll get the baseball leather scent. That's a good scent. Pine tar scent. Ooh, pine tar. Get the pine tar scent. Love it. Baseball grass. Get that can. That get that. Uh, that candle going. 
Infield Dirt scent. That's a good scented candle. There's Ozzy Albies to 50. Yeah, Mark's like, I always hated that waiver deadline. It just seemed a little sketchy, yeah. Well, there was really no transparency. They'll, they'll just be like, oh, you know, like, so-and-so was passed through waivers, and then players get butthurt if they are thrown onto waivers, and it's like, oh, we weren't really meaning to trade you. We were just blah, 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 blah. So it, uh, I think it turned out to make that deadline pretty, pretty solid, but... Uh, Rex is saying, I'm guessing Cubs will probably trade Caratini and, and, and Cole Hamels? Possibly Russell and Hap, too. They're going to need Cole Hamels. There's Taylor Ward for the Angels. That's another Angel for Chris Parent. Goes along with that Joe Adele. Yeah, Eric Bailey, once we, once we get the... Once we get our, everything furnished here, yeah, we, we, we may be able to do 24-hour breaks. There's that a 125, Giancarlo Stanton. My gym is right across the street. Just shower there. There's Chris Paddock to 99. He had a nice start last night. Almost, almost took a no-hitter. Or took a no-hitter to like the eighth inning, I think. A nice Brandon Lau. That goes to the Rays, Robert Throne, who got the Rays straight up. How much are these a box? About 100 bucks a box? Ish. There's Jake Cave coming into focus. How much are these? Are these about 100 bucks a box, you think, Jason? Optic? Yeah, I think they're like $100. But it's a good price if you get two autographs. Yeah. yeah, Eric Bailey saying about hundred dollar range too. Yeah, that sounds about right. Give or give or take, depending on the hobby shop and wherever you, wherever you find it online. Yeah, but it, I, I think it holds with, value. With Panini is because they don't have the licensing, so they can get yeah. a lot of autographs. Like you can see a lot of light in this every uh -huh. break. Yep. Well, last year there was a lot of Otani that came out of Optic. Yeah, yeah I, I, that's a good. That's actually a really good point. Jason was just, I don't know if you guys heard Jason say, well, Panini doesn't have the MLB license, right? So, so since they don't pay for that, guess what? You can get more of this guy's autograph. Yeah. You know what I mean? They like they can afford to yeah, have, uh, to load it up. Mantle. They have mantle too. Yeah. yeah. So if you remember last year, last year, last year, where it was almost, I don't know, it was very difficult for us to find Otani autographs, right, in Topps products. But uh, we were finding them all over the place in Donner's Optic Baseball, just because they, the the savings that they have not having the the official MLB logo license allows them to add some bigger hits in their product, so. There's a little bit of a trade-off. Yeah, Panini, I believe, has an exclusive with the Mantle family. So uh, that's why you're able to see his relics and autographs or cut autographs in in the higher-end sets. Is Yelich not in this? Or autographs, maybe? No, it's not. He's got a ton of inserts. Which you can get one of ones of, of course, but yeah. But Keston Hewitt is in there. So that's a big Brewers prospect that Rory is definitely looking for. He's got the Brew Crew. All right, next box. Ronald Acuna Jr., Danny Jansen. We got Carlos Carrasco, Leukemia. That's a 
that's what's been been uh, definitely treatable, but but definitely scary as well. Get well soon, Carlos Carrasco. He might be back by the end of the year. There's justice is served. Justice Sheffield going to Lou and the Mariners. Big prospect for the Mariners. Set out the autos from the box right there. There's J. K. on it. Is this a could be an autograph hot box? They, they call that pink velocity. Actually, is the official name for that. Some squares in the background there. There's Jake Cave for the twin Sanford last spot mojo. Yeah, it is an autograph hot box. There's Jonathan Loizaga for the Yankees. Eric Bailey on the board. There's Juan Soto to 99. There's a rated rookie card, Steven Duggar to 125. And we've got Patrick Wisdom. It's a smart looking card going to Lou and the Cardinals. That's out of 99. And Last one here for the Phillies, Eniel De Los Santos for Jeremy33, who got randomized the Phillies in that team random. So there's your autograph hot box right there. So we've seen both of our prism hot boxes. That was our first autograph hot box, right? There's usually two per box. Um, but the uh, autograph hot box will give you, it says right here, will give you five. So at a, about a hundred ish a box, it's not a bad value at all. If you, if you get lucky enough to pick one of the two hot boxes in a case. Speaking of the Phillies, Phillies reportedly extended uh, Klentak, a McPhail prior to the season. Mets play Zach Wheeler on the IL. We've got, oh, there's that Cubs deal that we were talking about earlier. Martin Maldonado for Mike Montgomery. Dodgers Chris Taylor, diagnosed with a fractured forearm. So he's out for four to six weeks. Dodgers have a lot of depth. I don't know if they're going to try to, I think they should have enough to, to replace Chris Taylor for a little bit, but that bullpen needs a little bit of help. Uh, Red Sox designate Eduardo Nunez for assignment. A's acquired Homer Bailey to bolster that rotation, and the Red Sox acquired Andrew Kashner. Nats played, uh, placed Max Scherzer on the IL. What happened to him? I, for I forgot. I don't think it's for very, I think it should just be the minimum. Mile, uh, mid back strain. This is all according to MLBTradeRumors.com. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. No, we did not see any Vlad Juniors. I think we saw a couple parallels, but a couple prisms, but no autos yet. Eric Bailey has, is clarifying that he has no relation to Homer Bailey. You don't want to be associated with Homer Bailey? which is quite a name for a pitcher. It's kind of like, I think the Royals or someone had a reliever. Scott blew it, I think. Maybe aspiring closer. You don't want to, you don't want to have that last name.
Jameis Tyon. He's working his way back from the IL. There's Chris Sale, 12 strikeout and out of 150. 12 strikeouts over six innings. Two hit, two hit ball. Homer has tarnished the Bailey name, says Eric Bailey. Sorry, Homer, if you're watching. You've been ostracized from the Bailey clan. There's Kyle Wright. Kyle Wright going to Jeremy 33 and the Bravos. That's out of 35 for 33. There's Aaron Nola to 125. Well, the A's wanted Homer Bailey, Eric Bailey. So someone likes him. What are Homer Bailey's numbers right now? They made room for a guy who has a a one war so far this season. Four six nine ERA, nineteen starts, ninety six innings, eighty seven strikeouts. It's okay. There's Alex Bregman, seventy five, and there's nice rated prospect autograph, Jordan Alvarez. That's a great one for Mark Matheson and the Strohs. Eric Bailey, are you suggesting that, that, that solid back of the rotation innings eaters are not good for the hobby? I suppose not. All right, look at this. We're already halfway through. We've got about another half an hour to go. We're about... We're on track. Bill saying, waiting for payday to spend it all on all at jazbeescasebreaks.com. Well, Bill, be sure to take care of you first. Pay the rent. Pay the bills. You know, stock the fridge. Get a, get a full tank of gas in the car. You know, do what you need to do. Then you could spend whatever you have left over, spend the fun money. You know, at Jaspers. All right. Uh, now, now Nick Jaspi is, uh, I don't know what he's doing today. I'm sure he's here earlier, working on some stuff. He's working on finishing up the store, Eric Bailey, so it doesn't look like a, like an empty Costco right now. There's just nothing, nothing going on in the store right now, so I'm sure he's doing what he needs to do set things up. Now, Optic is fine. The huge help yesterday was that Ginter. That can be a bit of a, a bit of a monster to do it solo. I'm okay tonight. I don't know, Eric Bailey. If we keep growing, maybe, uh, maybe I will get an assistant. Get an assistant here to to rip open packs. There's Eugenio Suarez to 99 for the Red Legs. And then we've got Significant Signatures, Ricky Henderson. Four out of five for the Man of Steel. Wow. David Duffy picked up the Oakland A's straight up.
That is strong. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. Nice. That is significant. That's not gonna happen again, right? Like, Ricky Henderson, how many steals he has? Like, I feel like that's a record. That's a record that will just stand. I mean, one, two, three, three times in his career at over 100 stolen bases, one time 130 stolen bases. He had 66 stolen bases with Oakland when he was 39 years old. In 1998, he stole 66 bases. Guy's insane. But it doesn't happen anymore. You know, it doesn't, uh, people just don't run anymore. And there's Kristen Stewart autograph. Nice. Pink Velocity Auto for the Tigers. And that is for Arturo, who got the Tigers in a team random. These Velocity autographs are not numbered for some reason, but there you have it. That's Paul Quantrill's kid, for those of you who remember Paul Quantrill. Is Jake Cave to 150 and John Duplantier. The trading deadline at the end of July, ladies and gentlemen, makes things really interesting because there are so many teams that are still in the wild card hunt. So maybe teams aren't ready to become sellers for the teams that want to be buyers, right? That makes it difficult. I feel like someone said yesterday that, that it looks like Cleveland are gonna be sellers, but their fifth their record is 54 and 40. They're tied with the A's and the Rays for a wild card spot. There's three teams tied for the wild card spot right now. Or three teams tied for the two wild card spots. Not tied, sorry, check that. Three teams that are uh, that are eligible for two of the wild card spots. I think they're tied up enough. I think the Rays and the A's are close enough in percentage where there, there'd be some sort of tiebreaker, I think. That's a perfect. But the Red Sox are only two and a half games back of a wild card spot. Even the Rangers are only five back of a wild card spot. Angels have been playing some pretty hot baseball lately. They're five and a half games back from a wild card spot. And then it drops off to the White Sox were 11 half games back. I think they're going to be great in the near future, but I don't think this is the year for them right now. They're 1-9 in their last 10 anyway. So, But, I mean, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 teams that are involved in the AL wildcard race. So, I mean, Oakland seems to be buying. I don't know if Tampa Bay have the resources to buy, but they, they could if they want to, if they could be buyers, you know. Cleveland, are they going to be buyers or sellers? I mean, maybe they still think they can move Trevor Bauer, perhaps, who is, I think next year is his last year of the contract, so he may have some really solid value this year. So maybe they could do two things at once. They could, they could move a contract but still get players to help. I don't know. Jay saying everyone in the NL, everyone except for Miami is pretty much in it. Yeah, that, that, that NL is pretty crazy too. Nationals have a firm grasp of the first wild card spot followed by Milwaukee and Philadelphia. And then St. Louis and the Diamondbacks, Cardinals and Diamondbacks are only a half game back from a wild card spot. Even the Giants are only two and a half games back of a wild card spot. 
Rockies, Padres, three and a half back. Pirates are only four games back. Mets are only five games back. Reds are only five games back. And then Miami is 12 and a half games back. But yeah, look at all those teams. Pretty much eligible for a wild card spot in the NL. So who's buying, who's selling? You know, and with the way baseball playoffs are, if you get into the playoffs, I mean, literally anything can happen. There's just so much variance. And the playoffs are so long. There's Eugenio Suarez, 35, and speaking of the Indians, Tristan McKenzie, rated prospect autograph from Matt Bodner and the Tribe. So who? So it's hard to say with the deadline coming up literally in a couple weeks, two, three weeks, who are buyers, who are sellers. There's Max Scherzer to 199. Jose Ramirez for the Indians to 35. I guess to some degree there has to be some level of of self-awareness for some ball clubs, right? Boom, there's the Vlad Guerrero Jr. rated rookie autograph right on the card for Trevor T and the Toronto Blue Jays. There you go. And this is, look at this. This is 2000, I was like, the design looks a little different. This is 2018. Donner's Optic Baseball. There's 2019 Flag Guerrero Jr. Nice, next box. a little bit here. Shenanigans says Eric Bia. Chad says one in every case that you want. Uh, before we started this break, or at the beginning of the break, Jason and I were, uh, were talking about this earlier that because Panini you know, is not paying for the MLB logo license, team license, that frees up that money they don't have to pay to Major League Baseball. So that means a little bit more money to to throw in some of the higher end, more higher end autographs of higher end prospects. A little bit of a trade off there, but I think, I think that was a really good point. But I was saying, teams at this point need to have some self-awareness. Are the Giants really going to make any noise in the playoffs? Probably not, right? But how do you tell your fans that when you're that close? If you're a front office, how do you say, listen, guys, we're not, how, if we go to the playoffs, how far do you think we'll go? You know, and they have assets they could trade to sort of rebuild their farm system and, and retool for the future in a world where there's going to be no... I mean, Buster Posey's getting older, you know? I mean, there's going to be a world without a Buster Posey, you know? A lot of older veterans that, that, you know, could probably be cleared out and make way for some of the youngsters, start that rebuild process. Yeah, Mad Bum's got to be out of there, right? They can't hold on to him. So even though they're only two and a half games out of a wild card spot, 
know, I think they gotta. I think they gotta start start to start to move some guys. Oh, uh, Chad, I don't. Who did you have again? Orioles. Uh, we got it. We had a Cedric Mullins autograph. Two, or just one. But I do remember Cedric Mullins. There's Ryan Baruki for the Blue Jays. Trevor T with that one. Vlad's teammate. No, I, I saw something on Twitter, but I didn't. So yeah, I didn't see it. There, I didn't see the video. Like, oh, so you know, you still claim you to be the best player in the MLS, right? He's like, by far. He's like, but there's another guy in LA, Carlos Vela. You know, twenty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, doing so good. He's like, oh yeah. And you say he's in his prime. He's like, how old is he? He's like twenty nine. He goes, what was I doing when I was twenty nine? <laughs> he's, like, he's like, he's in his prime and he's playing the MLS. <laughs> and I was like, damn. Dang. Shit. I was like, jeez. He's like, and where was I? He's kind of. He's probably like Paris Saint Germain or something like that. Just like, that's right. Total difference. That's like, man, Ibrahimovic is a savage. Javier Baez to thirty-five. Uh, Trevor, in the random, you got the White Sox. Haven't seen any White Sox yet. And that's it. I think you only had one spot in the team random. I only see you for one right now. Oh, well, speaking of the White Sox, there it is. Eloy Jimenez. So you got a couple of the big rookies in the AL, Trevor, in all of baseball. Eloy Jimenez, pink velocity autograph for Trevor T., and the White Sox, who got that team in the team random. He bought the Blue Jays straight up, though, for that Vlad Guerrero. That was nice, too. So the Eloy and the Ryan were your two autographs. Three boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. Almost there. Division wise, are the divisions pretty much? What's the, what's the story there? Yankees are going to run away with the AL East, right? They're seven games ahead of the Rays. I don't think they're going to be caught. I think the Indians can still catch up to the Twins. The Twins have lost their last three, and the Indians have won their last four. What happened today? Twins and A's are still tied, and the Indians are leading the... Wait, no. Do I refresh this page right here? Yeah, Indians are still lead leading the Tigers by by two. So if you're an Indians fan, you want you want Oakland to beat the Twins and the Tribe to win. They can, that's, that's another game, game right there. So the AL Central is still up in the air. AL West, A's have been on a really hot streak. They, they, they're eight and two in their last 10 games. And they're about, they're only four and a half games back of the Astros. I don't know, I, I, I find it hard to believe that they're gonna catch the Astros though, right? Astros have a really good team, but I mean, they're in fantastic position for a wild card spot. So they're, they're still more than alive in both the wild card and the, even the division. What about what about the Nationals? They had a horrible start to the year, but I think they're really starting to hit. That bullpen that was garbage is, is starting to solidify. And now they've climbed back to 50 wins. They are six and a half back of the Braves. Are the Braves going to get caught? 
Nationals are up big on the Braves right now. They're up 10-3 in the bottom of the sixth. Phillies are eight games back. I feel like that's been a bit of a disappointing... I mean, they're right in the hunt for the wild, uh, a wild card spot, but... I think they, they thought they were probably going to be in a better position this year. All right, we'll go through the NL Central and NL West in the next box. Mookie Betts, We the People, to 76. Starling Marte. We've got Brad Keller. Kyle Wright. That's a parallel, Aaron Nola to 10. It's a nice low number there for the Phillies, Jeremy 33. Peak performers, you get it? There, there's the peak in the back. What mountain is that? They just take a stock photo of like a mountain range and say, there you go, that's the background. And we've got rated prospect autograph, Forrest Whitley for the Strohs, Mark Matheson with the Astros. To 99, got him in a team random. And another Astro, Miles Straw. Miles Straw, Astros box to 125. Stephen K saying football makes her down to two, ladies and gentlemen. I think, did Mark say that the jer a jersey break was sold out too? We'll go through orders after this and we'll see which one was first. Carter Kaiboom, Kiboom, Kaiboom, 35. There you go, Astros box. All right, next two boxes. Well, let's go to the NL West really quick, my division. Dodgers are up 13 and a half games on the Diamondbacks. I don't think anyone's catching the Dodgers in the NL West. I think they're going to comfortably win the division. They do have to work on their bullpen. So they got to, they got to do all that. So, oh, jerseys are sold out. Cool. And then, you know, Giants aren't going to do anything. Rockies aren't going to do anything. Uh, Padres aren't going to do anything. You know, so maybe they got some wild card hopes there. But Dodgers are going to comfortably win that. You think they'll comfortably win the, lose the World Series too? Become the Buffalo Bills of the 90s? That's what I'm worried about. I am. Jay, that's a real fear. That they'll be the Braves. Just win a ton of, ton of divisions. But, I mean, Braves actually won a World Series. So, Dodgers aren't even the Braves. They might be the Bills. It'd be sad times. They got to work on that bullpen. Uh, that NL Central is, we, we talked about this preseason, early in the season, even now, the NL Central is exciting. There's, there's, there's some interesting things happening here. I don't think there's any other division that's close to having the excitement of the NL Central. Right? Cubs are currently two and a half games ahead of the Brew Crew. The Cardinals are only three games back of the Cubs. Half game behind the Brewers. Those top three right there are going to be interchangeable. Who's going to win that division? What do you think? Hell, even the, even the Pirates, they're only six and a half games back. They could make a, a wild run. Imagine if they won the division. But I feel like it could happen. They're only three and a half games behind the Cardinals. Once they get there, you know, they wouldn't be too far behind the Brewers. If they get there, then I, I you know, they could, it's crazy. I mean, you could even say the Reds are still on seven and a half games back. That's a really tight division. And all those teams are, all those NL Central teams are on the wild card hunt too. So I think that's gonna be a very exciting battle at the end. Who thinks, who do you think, ladies and gentlemen, who's gonna win that NL Central? Dodgers looking into, I don't know if they're looking, I've heard, I think we talked about this yesterday, Gilo, but I think I heard, uh, a casual rumor saying that Dodgers could be interested in Whit Merrifield after Chris Taylor went down, but I think they're going to be looking more at bullpen instead. 
Yeah, maybe Ian Kennedy. I don't think they're going to be... I don't think they're going to be players for like the big relievers like Kirby Yates from the Padres and Brad Hand for the uh, uh, for the Indians, Philippe Vasquez for the Pirates. I don't think the Dodgers are going to be willing to give up that much for elite relievers, even though I think they should. You know, but it's not their mo to do that. There's Kyle Tucker to one ninety nine. So yeah, I could see something more like a Ian Kennedy kind of kind of thing for the Dodgers. Jay says the Brewers will pull it off. They'll win the division, he thinks, and then the Cubs will take a wild card. Wow, there's Victor Victor Mesa. Pink Velocity rated a prospect autograph for the Marlins. Goes to Josh Lewis and the Marlins. One of their bigger prospects in that Miami organization. His brother Victor Mesa also in there, but Victor Victor I think is your is the uh, bigger name. You don't think Ian Kennedy? Yeah, no, I don't. I don't. Dodgers don't technically need a close, maybe temporarily. I think Kenley Jansen has a bum ankle right now, but but uh, we need those seventh, eighth inning high leverage guys. There's Brendan Rodgers, rated rookie autograph, out of seventy five from two thousand seventeen. Donner's optic. That's Trevor with the Rockies. Got the Rockies straight up. Yeah, because Dodgers sort of. Middle really. Joe Kelly's been pitching a lot better, but you know he gave up a bunch of runs. His season overall hasn't been very good. Um, I mean, Dylan Floro, Pedro Baez, you know those middle relievers don't. I don't think are really striking fear into the hearts of of, of opposing playoff teams. Like, listen. If the Dodgers and the Yankees, let's say, this is what Major League Baseball right? So wants, right? A Dodgers-Yankees World Series. If the Dodgers and the Yankees meet each other with the way their bullpens are now, the Yankees have an amazing bullpen. They're going to win that series. You know? Because the Dodgers middle, you know, the Dodgers have great hitters, but so are the Yankees. The Yankees here is going to eat up that middle relief. Dodgers middle relief. And, you know, you would bet on the Yankees middle relief and like guys like Aroldis Chapman too to neutralize those strong Dodger bats more than the other way around. And that's another World Series lost by the Dodgers. <laughs> Eric Bailey reminding us that yes, Victor Victor Mesa, a strong Victor Mesa, a strong prospect. Victor Victor Mesa, an even better prospect, one of the top prospects in the Marlins organization. And Victor 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 Mesa, Eric Bailey saying, has yet to be born, but probably will be the best of all of them. That is, of course, until Victor, 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 Victor Mesa joins the Marlins a couple generations from now. And let's not count out Victor, 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 Victor Mesa. Eric Bailey, don't forget about him. Does the Scott guy you got from the Royals sell pitch for you? Scott Alexander? Is that, was he from the Royals? Yes. Scott Alexander, I think he's injured. Yeah, as of a day ago, it se seems like he's still not healthy yet. Scott Alexander was, like, really great for, like, for, like, a minute. But then he hasn't really gotten his season uh, on track because he's just been injured. I think he developed a really nice curveball. He was working with this guy named Sandy Koufax, who I heard used to have a good curveball. But it kind of worked with him on some grip stuff, and then, um, and then that that was like a nice, it was a great wipeout pitch. But I don't know, he's injured. I blame you guys, Gilo. You and your Royals sent us damaged goods. I don't even know what the nature of his injury is. 
some, some sort of forearm injury, thumb injury, something like that. Why'd you send us damaged goods? John Samson says, don't forget about Wander, Wander, Franco. Right. Wander, 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 Franco. Now, Mark Madison saying this should be the an autograph hot box. Right, I think we've only seen one so far, right? What did what did we send you to get Scott Alexander, or was he a free agent? This is when you know we've run out of things to talk about in this break. When we're talking about middle le <laughs> left-handed specialists from from the, that went from the Royals to the uh, to the Dodgers. Traded in a three-team trade that sent Jake Peter to the Dodgers. Luis Avilan and Joaquim Soria to the White Sox. And Trevor Oaks and Eric Mejia to the Royals. All right, so those are crazy, crazy things there. Mixer is down to one. Nice. Todd Reardon wants to know if anybody wants to do some more Argonaut. I'm down. Let's fill up all the break credit breaks. For, or have we filled up all the break credit breaks? Actually, yeah, we did. Oh, no. Diamond Icons is still left, folks. we got to do one more break to unlock that break credit. Why don't we do that Diamond Icons first, Todd? Try to give away, give away some break credit, and then we can get into that Argonaut. What do you think? David Peralta to 125. I heard uh, David Peralta may be on the trading block for the Diamondbacks. Adam Jones may be on the move. He's had a pretty solid season in Arizona. Todd says no. Todd doesn't want to give away money. Boo. Todd's, Todd's the guy that, that plays the no, the no pass line at craps. Come on, Todd. There's Chris Shaw. To 35. Well, Todd knows what he likes, ladies and gentlemen. And there's Tukey Toussaint for the Bravos. That goes to Jeremy 33. Auto 1. There is Usnail Diaz Signature Series, who I think was the, the kid we sent to the Orioles. The Dodgers sent to the Orioles in the Machado deal. 64 out of 99. That goes to Chad B and the O's. There you go, Chad. And there's there's old Willie McGee. MVP. Willie McGee won an MVP? This is like me not remembering that Keith Hernandez won an MVP for the Cardinals. When did you win an MVP? He won it in his, what, fourth season in baseball. What did you do? Oh, all he did was hit 353 on the season. That'll do it. He had... He beat out Dave Parker. I think by, by a decent amount. I think. He had 83% of the first place votes. Dave Parker at 65 or something like that. But yeah, he had an 8.2 war. 56 stolen bases. Batted 353. 216 hits on the year. Scored over 100 runs. Wow. I think he had a lot of triples too. I think he led the league in triples. 18 triples. There, there's some ball players that will be happy with 18 doubles let alone 18 triples. Five out of 25. There you go. Yeah, 1985. And I think great in the field, too. Gold Glover as well. Multiple-time Gold Glover. There's Paul Goldschmidt. One out of five, Paul Goldschmidt. For the Cardinals, that'll be for Lou and the Redbirds. <laughs> right, no kidding, Stephen K. And you're lucky to get 18 triples in their entire career. 
Lou, Redbirds, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. There is Josh James for the Astros to 75. Another one for Mark Matheson. And our last autograph is a Royal. That's a rated rookie autograph, Brad Keller, for Mark Matheson as well. He gets the last two autos. There you have it. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Five autographs, our last autograph hot box. Right there, some nice hits. Here is a quick recap. Nice break overall. Victor Victor Mesa, Eloy Jimenez, Vlad Guerrero Jr. I think we, we saw a Tatis. Junior earlier. There's the Tatis Junior. There's that Cedric Mullins, Chad. And Joe Adele was a great one, too. Started off with the MVP, Kevin Mitchell. We had the out of five Goldschmidt. And we got a nice, significant signatures, Ricky Henderson. Four out of five, the man of steel was really nice too. Great break. Pick your team three in the books. More in the store on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Go and get it and we'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.